Yung tumatayo dito, kung sino man yung tumatayo dito na nagtuturo sa inyo, ibig po sabihin ay uh, nakikiaral din po kami sa inyo. Hindi po ibig sabihin na alam na po namin ang lahat. Amen. So, respect for authority. Ayan. Do we respect yung mga authority sa government and our family, sa churches? Okay, number one sa introduction, God establishes all authority. So, serve those in authority over you as you will serve God. So, hindi po sabihin, pagka hindi po tayo nag, hindi, na, hindi natin nire-respeto ang authority, we are not also respecting the authority of God. Kasi sabi po doon sa Bible, si Lord ang nag establish ng authority dito sa lupa. So, once na nag tayo dito sa mga masters natin dito sa lupain, ay nag re din na rin po tayo sa Panginoon. Sa Ephesians 6, 5, sabi ko dito, Obey your earthly master just as you would obey Christ. Who are our uh, earthly master? Who are they? Magbigay po kayo ng example ng earthly master. Boss! Mga lawyer po natin, sino pa? Our presidents, yung mga leaders natin sa government na pinatayo ng Panginoon, they are our um, earthly masters. Our pastors, yung mga leaders natin sa simbahan na pinatayo ng Panginoon para sa atin, they are our earthly masters. Alright? So, Ephesians 5, verse 22, sabi ko dito, Wives, submit to your husbands as to the Lord. Karamihan po tayo sa atin dito, we are wives. Are we? Yes. Karamihan po tayo dito ay may asawa na. So, submit to your husbands. Hindi we will not act as supervisor of our husbands, right? So, lahat po tayo dito na may asawa, mag-submit tayo sa ating mga asawa. Amen. As we submit. Amen. <laughs> Sabi ko ni Pastor kanina, huwag tayo magiging si Jesse Berry. Yes. Ina-under niya po yung asawa niya. Huwag po tayo magkaroon ng spirit of Jesse Berry. Spirit. Okay? So, we come to Christ as rebels. We cannot remain rebels. Kung nag din na po tayo ng minsan, tama na po yun. Huwag na po natin ulit ulitin ang pag din natin. Okay lang po na nag tayo yun, At least, nagkaroon po tayo ng realization na mali po yung nagawa natin. And then we move forward. Magkaroon po tayo ng true repentance. And then, uh, move forward po tayo. So, sapat na po yung minsan na pag sa buhay. Okay? So, this is the number one reason Christians in America don't make it in the faith because they never surrender their rebellion to Christ. So, 1 Samuel 15.23, mababasa po dito, For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, and stubbornness is as iniquity of idolatry. May tanong pa ko sa inyo, is it okay to be a Christian and still practice witchcraft? No. no. Tama po kayo, no. The Bible says that rebellion is the same. You have to give it up. So hindi po po pwede. Naku po, yung, yung topic po natin ngayon ay pwede po natin i-connect doon sa topic ni Pastor kanina, no? Kasi sabi po dito, um, rebellion is us, ano, is it okay to be a Christian and still practice witchcraft? Sabi po ni Pastor kanina, pwede every Sunday nandito tayo sa church, but how is our altar? Parang ganun po yung, yung explanation nito, ano? So, hindi po po pwede na maging Christian and you are still practicing something that is against the will of the Lord. Okay, next. Our respect for authority is shown in four areas of our lives. So number one, these are the four areas of authority that God has established. First, family. Second, government. Next, third. And the last one is church. So first four, as uh, so a first John chapter four, verse 20 to 21, if a man say, I love God and hates his brother, 
He is a liar. Tama? I'll click po ako dito. So maraming tao po yung nasasabi na they love God and yet they hate their sister and yet they hate their brother and yet parang napakahira po sa atin ang magpatawad sa mga tao pong nakasakit sa atin. For he who doesn't love his brother whom he has seen, how can he love God whom he has not seen? And this commandment we have from him that he who loves God love his brother also. So ano po yung greatest commandment ni Lord? Apart from, di ba sabi niya po doon, love God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all that you have, right? With all your soul. And then, you love others as yourself. Yun po yung utos, yung greatest na kautusan ng Panginoon sa atin. Next, if you say you respect God's authority over you, you can see. But you rebel against the earthly authority he has established, which you can see, you are a liar. So my explanation here is, even if we say we love God, but we don't respect our pastor. Our pastor na itinalaga ni Lord para sa atin, we are a liar. Whether we like it or not, whether we agree, or not, admit, or not, yun po yung katotohanan na we are a liar. Alimbawa, we say we love God, pero sa amo natin, ito po yung pinakamatindi para sa mga amo natin. <laughs> pinakamatindi po to. So, dito po natin ipapractice yung, yung love ano, para sa mga amo natin. Aralin po natin kasi yung love is like a subject. Halimbawa, hindi ka marunong mag-Tagalog or mag-English. Aaralin mo yan para matuto ka. Ganun din po yung pagmamahal. Kung hindi mo alam magmahal, aralin mo hanggang sa matuto kang magmahal. Okay? Alright. Your submission to Christ is shown by your submission to the authority He has established in these four areas. So there are blessings and consequences for those who submit or rebel against authority. So tatandaan po natin na laging may blessing and may consequences po doon sa pag-rebel natin against authority. So God blesses the man that honors authority. So God bless you if you know how to honor authority. But here is the bad news. God will judge you if you rebel against the authority. Next, we take a look at the scripture and our lives to see if we have surrendered our rebellion to Christ. Honoring authority. Number one. Medyo, okay na kayo, nakakantindi. Okay lang. Serious? Parang... Number one. And that's number two. Okay. So June chapter eight to nine. Sabi ko dito yung si Michael control system. Si Michael, the archangel, does not speak disrespectfully to Satan. We don't have to respect the devil. Michael was once under Satan when he was the highest angel in heaven. Michael honors the authority that Satan once had in his life. In 1 Samuel chapter 24 verse 2 to 7, ito po yung si David cut Saul's robe. Ayan. So Saul is trying to kill David. David is not like Saul. Ayan. So si David ay si Saul. Grabe po yung galit niya kay David. Di ba nagselo siya kay, kay David? Kaya, he is doing his best para patayin or ipapatay itong si King David. Pero one time, nakita ni King David si Saul, mismo nakita niya na kung siguro pareho po sana sila ng intention na gusto rin patayin ni David si, si King Saul, ginawa na niya dapat. Pero hindi na po niya ginawa yung kahit malapit na siya kay, kay King Saul eh. Ginawa niya doon is... 
pinutulan, di ba? Ginunting niya ang laylayan ng damit ni King Saul. So, because he still honors the authority of King Saul. Ayan. Hmm. So, David has a chance to kill Saul, but instead cast the corner of his robe while Saul is relieving himself in a cave. David even repents for this. He was disrespectful to the Lord's anointed, right or wrong. David honored Saul. So, ganun din po tayo dapat sa mga leaders natin, especially sa mga uh, pastor natin. Sa mga amo natin, pwede rin po natin i-apply. Gustong-gusto natin sumbatan ang amo natin, pero nagpitigil po tayo. Dahil alam po natin kung paano rumispeto sa mga nakakatanda or yung mga, uh, how, to, how to say this one, um, people who is uh, ruling over us, yung tinalaga ni Lord na uh, nag-rule over us. Amen. So, real life story of someone who was blessed for submitting to God's anointed. Also, a story of someone submitting in an er area that will seem crazy. Of course, God would want that when Pastor. All right. I shouldn't have read that. Okay, next. Dishonoring authority. So, sa Numbers chapter 12, verse 1 to 15. Ito po yung story ni Miriam. Sino si Miriam? Yung kapatid ni Moses. Moses. Ayan. Si Miriam nagmurmur against sa kuya niya, kay Moses. So Moses' sister, Miriam thinks she has just as much right. Who does Moses think he is? I can talk to God just as he does. Ang pagkakalam po niya eh, kung ano yung magagawa ng kapatid niyang si Moses, ay magagawa din niya. Alright, so Miriam involves her brother Aaron. So magkapatid ko silang tatlo, si Miriam, Aaron, and Moses, they are siblings. God calls Moses, Miriam, and Aaron to the tabernacle. And God calls Miriam and Aaron forward, says, If I want to speak to a prophet, I speak to him in a vision or a dream. So nangusap ko si, si Lord kay Miriam and Kai Aaron. So Moses is not like that. I speak to him mouth to mouth. Dito ko niya sinabi sa mga kapatid niya, kapatid ni Moses na nangungusap ako kay Moses har ng harap-harapan, sabi niya doon. So why were you not afraid to speak against my servant Moses? Bakit hindi kayo natakot? Bakit walang, wala kayong takot na magsalita against Moses. Tayo po, may takot po ba tayo na magsalita ng um, something against against our leaders? Leaders sa simbahan? Our pastors? Sometimes, hindi po natin makontrol ang bibig natin. That uh, we speak something, uh, some words na hindi po dapat karapat dapat na sabihin natin sa sa pastor natin, ano? Pero sabi nga po natin, uh, sapat na minsan na sabi natin, okay na yun, mag-repent tayo, huwag na natin ulitin. Kung ginawa mo yun dahil sa sama ng doon mo, okay, we understand. If mag-repent mag tayo and huwag na ulit natin gawin. Huwag na ulit natin ulit-ulitin kung ano yung mga sinasabi natin na hindi kaaya-aya sa ating pastor o sa ating mga amo. In Genesis chapter 9, verse 20 to 27, Haman covers Noah's sin. So Noah became drunk with wine and passed out naked in his tent. So Ham, Noah's son, came and saw him naked. So Ham went and told his brothers to come see their father. Noah's other two sons walked in backward with a blanket and covered their father. So Ham was cursed by God. Noah's other two sons were blessed. Never uncover your leader's sin. Never uncover 
your leader's sin, exposing it to others. Always cover in love. Proverbs says, love covers a multitude of sins. So, bumabalik ulit tayo sa subject ng pagmamahal. Kaya po ba natin magmahal? Amen. Kaya natin magmahal, pero in the right way. Gamitin po natin ang puso natin na magmahal in a right way. Amen. Dahil pwede po tayong magmahal in a wrong way. Pero gamitin natin ang right way na sabi ni Pastor Abner kanina, which is holy and acceptable to the Lord. Amen. Amen.